Hey everyone, Brody here with our new channel, Let's Table It. I have a copy of Amygdala. This is the exclusive all-in version of this game. And this is a game published by Game Brewer. I did a preview video of the game on my previous channel. Now you can see what the final copy looks like here on my new channel. Let's table it. So let's go. Life is full of emotion, and the region of the brain primarily associated with processing these emotions is the amygdala. This is an abstract strategy game. Players vie for control of different regions, each associated with an emotion. They must collect and store emotional resources in their memory bank, which they can use to unlock emotions from their mind. Then place these emotion tiles on the game board. Emotion tiles can be connected in networks of like emotions to score points. The player with the most emotions in each region can then score big points at the end of the game, but only if they manage to unlock and place a claim tile belonging to the region which they wish to score. This is a 2-4 to four abstract strategy tile placement and area majority game that takes about an hour and a half to play. The game is recommended for players aged 10 and older. The game is designed by Michael Kiesling and Wolfgang Kramer and published by one of my favorite publishers, Game Brewer. Players collect resource tiles used to unlock emotion tiles on their player boards. Their unlocked emotions will be placed strategically in the seven color regions of the game board. Claiming majorities in these regions will earn victory points. The player with the most points at the end of the game wins. The seven emotions in this game are blue is sadness, teal is serenity, Green is gratitude, yellow is happiness, pink is hope, red is anger, and purple is surprise. In the game, players will take one of three different actions. They can acquire resource tiles where they will pay for the most expensive tile. And if you want the second one nearby, you can take the less expensive one for free. You can only take tiles in a location where the mood marker is located at. So you can move that marker clockwise if you want to take tiles elsewhere. But you might have to pay more when doing so. The second action you can do is place an, an emotion tile. This is done in steps. First, you unlock an emotion tile by moving your thought cloud on the tile you wish to unlock. Place the unlocked emotion tile where your mood marker must be on the roots of a lotus adjacent to the color region in which you wish to place your unlocked emotion tile. You will then score points for its placement, one point for each matching emotion connected in the network with your newly placed tile then you possibly could unlock bonuses. I know this is confusing without actually seeing it all on the board, but you can look back at my other preview video of the game to learn how to actually play the game. The last action is to place a claim tile, where your marker must be on the roots of the lotus adjacent to the color region you wish to place your claim tile. The game continues, and when any player has only five emotion tiles left on their player board at the end of their turn, then the game ends, and final scoring is performed. Players will score points for leftover coins and for majorities in each of the seven regions. The game comes with different variants for you to master after you master the normal game. The game has its own type visual style unlike any other game. As you can see while I've been unboxing the game, it looks a little bit different than many other games. The components are just stunning. And as you can see in this video, there are ways to organize the game. It will take me some time to make sure I did everything right and how the game is actually meant to be organized. But the, the coins are very impressive. The tokens have very thick cardboard. There's nothing I'd say in the components that is lacking. The game board is, as you saw earlier, it's double-sided and you can choose which side or which style you wanna play on. If you wanna figure out how to play the game or need more details of how to play the game, I'd invite you to watch my preview video done on my old channel or check out some of the other contents that the other creators are putting out. Again, this is Brody with Let's Table It, where we get games to the table. 
please like and subscribe to our channel. We are new and we're working hard to bring you videos like this one so that you know if these games are the ones that you want to table on your own table.